You guys ready to cry? Just, you know, tears of what could have been? Oh, I think I'm all cried out. What's happening, film friends? Dave the Film Junkie here. All right, finally getting to this video. I apologize for uh, getting to it so late. I know people were asking my opinion about all this on the uh, on Film Junkie Live, and uh, I didn't quite um, I didn't want to talk about it because I wanted to dedicate a video about it because I still want to do like these kind of videos even though I'm doing the live stuff. I still want to do like uh, you know of course my normal style videos with everything all looking pretty and of course sounding better with my phallic-y mic here. Mr. Gareth Evans, who, of course, was approached um, for the Deathstroke movie, and we heard a while back, a long while back, that, yes, it was in development, and we were all pretty excited about it, and we knew that Joe Magniello was all about it as well. So many things happen. I mean, there's so much potential here, and it really sucks because, obviously, that test footage blew our minds. I still remember I was on my—I was about to go to work. I was getting ready for work when that fucking test footage dropped— that Ben Affleck dropped for, of course, it was just testing for the Batman and uh, immediately freaked out. It was awesome. It blew up the internet and everybody was looking forward to it. And then everything just slowly fell apart. And it sucks too because Joe Magniello is a big fan of the character. He looks like the character. He's a big behemoth brick shithouse of a man. Would have been perfect. But no, because of Justice League, first off, falling through and being shitty. And I mean... <sighs> For the most part, we did see his cameo. I know some people are still insisting that we see Deathstroke break out, uh, break Lex Luthor out of jail. But uh, from what I've been told, it's more of like uh, it's insinuated, you know, kind of like you hear that there was a breakout. You don't actually see it. So what we saw was mainly what was shot. But then, of course, there was probably a different dialogue because, of course, they reshot Luther's dialogue. And then the Batman fell through, and then we had still some hope for Mr. Magniello as Deathstroke, as Mr. Slade Wilson, for his own standalone movie. And uh, apparently that didn't, that it's not happening. So this is what, uh, this is uh, in a recent interview, uh, what um, uh, Mr. Evans, I always want to say Edwards for some reason. That's what he had to say uh, about that when he was asked about the Deathstroke movie. He said, I've spoken to Joe Magniello, who was attached to star as Deathstroke. I spoke to him a while back, and we both lamented the fact that it didn't happen. But yeah, I don't really know, I don't really have much more than that in terms of anything lately on it. So... Begin weeping, guys. The plan was I wanted to tell something that would be a lean story that would be kind of an origin of that character. Something that felt like it would be, that could be 100 minutes or 110 minutes long max. Not go over the two-hour period with it. Didn't Sujihara want to have Justice League under two hours? It's okay, though. I actually understand that. If you can tell a good story and have, like, some crazy action to it. Like, he said a lean story. Nothing, like, too in-depth. You know, get the character, show some action, and then ha show that it has potential to be a franchise. I think that's what he wanted to really do, and I totally respect that. I mean, look at look at his other movies. Look at him. He also continued on by saying, I'll be the first one to admit it, I'm not a massive comic book or superhero fan, but something about Deathstroke interested me. I did some reading into it, not enough to make a real hardcore, to make the real hardcore fanboys happy, but I tried my best to consume as much as I could in the time that I was on it for a bit. <sighs> I always love it. Ah. Fuck. When I read up on it, there were about three different versions of how his character originated, which is true. There's always like a retelling, re, you know, some some other author wants to like, you know, breathe some new life into it. So then he went on saying, and so I thought we could do something quite Shakespearean in the terms of how he loses his eye and how he gets created as a character that he is. And then, of course, they talk about how it would have been tightly choreographed because, you know, you know, obviously when you look at others, Evans movies, Gangs of London, The Raid 1 and 2, I mean, ah, Jesus. <sighs> I, I Seriously, it just, it, it hurts. We had ideas of the kind of style that we would have gone for with that, which would have married some of the more grounded style that I have. But then because of the world of it, it would allow me to be a little more, a bit more flamboyant and a bit more stylized. We could have taken it in some really interesting areas. 
Yeah! I mean, my God. It could have been something pretty great, especially after the success of Logan. I mean, that's all I think about because there's no way in fucking hell you make this PG-13. It should have been like an R-rated, just great movie. Like you said, not a fucking super meaty, peel the onion type movie. Just a lean story with some fucking tight, awesome, choreographed, Indonesian-inspired martial arts fight scenes that it's listed right here. And that just gets me hard. What could have been? What could have been? I know, guys. It sucks. But uh, what could he? What, what could he? What, what could he do? I guess you know. I mean, who knows? Maybe like uh, I know a lot of people are saying, "Hey, HBO Max, why not put this on your shit?" And we've already seen different iterations of uh, live action Deathstroke, obviously with uh, the Arrowverse and then the Titans universe, and then we kind of got a tease in the Snyder universe. I just really wish they would actually do something with this i think it would be a great idea if they want to make like a the separate universe like we've been talking about when it comes to the snyderverse and just keeping a little bit alive and it, it can have a home on hbo max it really can but i guess we'll see what happens but there you go guys i really wish it would have happened i want it to still happen i think mr evans is a fantastic director he's fantastic with the action like i said he's not trying to make i mean essentially i'm thinking john wick almost like you get you get a little bit of the origin and then you just see him fucking up people and you know it's nothing like super meaty it's just it's just something that's going to be fucking fantastic like i think and i think deathstroke fans and just comic book fans and fans of action alone would have absolutely loved this movie and now we weep. Anyways, guys, there you go. That's my two cents on it. Let me know your thoughts about it down below. Hit that like thumbs up button if you'd be so kind. Subscribe to my channel. Subscribe to my other channel, too, for Film Junkie Live shots, little clips. Um, follow me on the Sockmans over there, Twitter, Instagram, Facebook. Patreon down below if you want to help out the pirate ship. And, of course, shirts. Shirts. All right, guys.